Do you remember how much you weighed when you were born? Because, you know, us and, like, all our sisters' kids, our sisters and brothers and all that, the average weight somewhere between, like, eight and nine pounds, right? Right, right. So, we're thinking this normal body theme, a great deal of the indigenous women don't put on an extra 100 pounds when they're born. What color were your eyes? Your hair? Your complexion? Like, some of those things change. You know, your eyes lighten or darken, your hair, especially, like, the redheads, they're normally born red. Uh, personally, our complexion was so light that they accidentally put white on our original birth certificate. And further down that road, if you go to your photo albums, the gross majority of your family was thin until they weren't. <laughs> like we're the last, the, the, we're the little one of the litter. Um, but the thing is though, is that when you start again, start talking about these natural bodies, a great deal of what y'all are, are, are pushing and promoting are fabricated. Because even when you look at mothers in the indigenous communities, they all get thin. And a lot of them lack stretch marks. You know, and they don't have cream, they don't have gyms, they don't do anything different except their normal routine. So how is it there's an obesity problem in America? Because of the foods you eat, the sedimentary lifestyle, and then nobody changes anything. People used to always, whoa, you got a really high metabolism. Yeah, because we did this thing when we were a kid called playing outside. We were riding our bike all over from the west side to the south side to the north side, not so much the north side, but way south to even to Flower Bluff. So we say all that to say this, is that a great deal of y'all be enabling with body positivity and all those excuses when you could just do the work. But the work is the problem because it takes work. You gotta put in work. Women will get the teas, the wraps, the pills, the surgeries, anything except actually exercising. And then blame men for pointing it out as if we're body shaming when we're just telling you to change your habits. That's 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 really what it boils down to. R E X.